everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is this. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Goth Tears. This is part of the new Gothographic collection. I've actually been just playing with it a lot this week. Uh, it's super sparkly and lovely. I've been putting it on my eyes. I find if I just put a little bit of this on, it just gives me a little bit of shimmer without going too crazy. But if you want to make it really intense, you can definitely layer this one. This one layers very nicely. Um, I also have Nyctophilia, which is one of the darker shades. And I went back yesterday to pick up one of the lighter shades um, after I saw Jay Kiss's review, she said basically the two lightest shades of those liquid eyeshadows basically look the same on your skin. One is slightly more champagne and one is slightly more pink, but they really don't look that different. I think I ended up going with the champagne one, which I don't remember the name, but I do like the performance of these and for the price, like they're really inexpensive, they can't be beat. Anyway, on to the video. So for today's video, we're going to be doing my Sephora Play unboxing for February 2018. First, I'm going to talk about all the products from January's box, and then we'll move on and discuss everything from February. There's a little bit of a caveat here. Uh, I am traveling, so I'm not at home, so my play box was actually shipped to my home in New York, but I am in Florida. So what happened instead is that my husband actually opened the box for me on camera, and I have some pictures that I'll intersperse in here, but he showed me everything that was in the package, and based on what I got, I can talk about pretty much all of it. So let's get going. So first, let's get started with January's box. So the six items in there, we'll just start one at a time. So the first one would be this. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Liquid Lips Gloss in the shade Kristen. I'm gonna put it this way. I think that the lip gloss formula is very nice. It's definitely very shiny. It's very opaque. It looks really beautiful. This color is not my color. So I'm not gonna wear this. I did try it on, um, I put it on my hand and then applied it because um, I didn't want to stick my lips on this directly in case anybody else wanted this because I was pretty sure looking at this color it wasn't going to be for me. And it's not. And although it does say that you can layer this as a lip topper, I didn't actually find that was true because this is pretty opaque. Uh, it's just not my color. I do think it's a nice lip gloss. It's not that I wouldn't try another lip gloss from this brand, but you know, basic nudie pink lip gloss is never going to be what I want, obviously. So uh, I do think this is a good lip product, just not for me. Next up, we have this from Smashbox. This is the Photo Finish Primerizer. So this is a moisturizer and primer in one. It has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Um, I tried this to see if it worked as a moisturizer, and I didn't know that it was doing enough for me alone as a moisturizer, so I tried to pair it with another moisturizer on top of it. Or rather, I put a moisturizer on, and then I also used this. I found for me that worked a little bit better. I don't think this is a bad primer. I think it's fine. Uh, it works better with my Smashbox products. Um, I don't know if I'll buy a full size of this yet. I'm still working my, through, my way through this tiny little jar. It's a little glass jar. It's very cute. Uh, and I haven't used all of it. I'm, I think I'm about like, two, I've, there's like two thirds of it left at this point. I don't think it's a bad primer. I think it's fine. Um, but I don't think it's an amazing primer, untold, unheralded. And I really could not for myself personally just use this as, as a moisturizer. It just wasn't enough for me. So, you know, if you get a sample of this, you might try it out and see if it works for you. But uh, I, I don't know that I'd buy a full size of this. I might change my mind at the end of it. I'll let you know when I get to my empty. But, you know, at this point, I'm like, eh, it seems fine. I also had a Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. So I'm actually gonna talk about this more in a different video. I've been using a lot of makeup removing products to try and find the right one for me. Um, based on my initial impression of this one, I will let you know that um, it's okay. <laughs> I, I didn't, I, this is a very expensive cleanser and I would not pay full price for this. It's not a bad cleanser, I'll be honest. It's not a bad one, but uh, it's just fine. It's nothing that special. I have cheaper ones that I'll talk about later um, in, the, in the makeup removing video. Just, it's fine. Eh. There are also two products I don't have with me. One is the Clinique Pep Start Under Eye Cream. I left that with my husband because he wanted it. He had dibs on the eye cream this month. Uh, he said that he didn't really get a chance to use it, but that he thought it smelled nice and he would use it when he ran out of what he was currently using, which is a Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. So I said, Sure, whatever. I knew I wasn't going to get to it because it's just not part of my skin regime right now. So he had that one. I also left him with the Bosha chemical peel, the exfoliating peel gel. And he didn't use that either. That's unfortunately nothing I can do about that since I left it with him a month ago and he just never got around to using it. Uh, I know for me personally, I don't think I'm going to use that. Um, there's something about it that makes me a little uneasy that it's going to like strip my skin. Uh, not that necessarily it will, but uh, my experience with that sort of product has not necessarily been good, which is why I left it with him so he could play with it instead. If I ever get him to actually use it, I will definitely update you, but um, I knew I wasn't going to use it, so I left it with him to see if he would. And not yet. 
And last is from the brand O-U-A-I, which is pronounced way apparently, so thank you so much for that. Uh, I read an article actually about it later where the person who is in charge of the brand said she deliberately made the spelling weird so that it would be something for people to talk about how to pronounce it. That seems a little obnoxious. Anyway, it was a hair treatment mask, which I actually did use. I just can't find the empty. It's somewhere around here. Um, I did use it up. Uh, you've got several uses out of it. I think I got four out of it um, just to use on my hair. Cause the water here is very different. So my hair was very angry about it and very dry and difficult to handle because I'm down in Florida, which I was previously up in New York City where it's very cold and it's very hot down here. So uh, I do think it worked. It was very nice. I don't know if I'll buy a full size. I'm not sure how big a full size actually is, but um, my hair is feeling much better now, so I don't need as many of those hair treatment masks, but I'm definitely going to keep it on my list. If this happens again, I would, I would definitely pick that up. I do think it worked. It definitely made my hair more manageable. And now on to this month's box. So this is my February 2018 box. And for anybody who doesn't have a Sephora Play box, what that is, it's a subscription box you can get through Sephora. It's $10 a month. They automatically bill you and they ship it out to your house. Uh, I think it sort of takes into account what you put in your profile, but I don't really know. It, it kind of does because I will get things, you know, sort of geared towards like my skin color and maybe my skin type, sort of, maybe. I'm never quite sure. And the questions are not very interesting, so it's not like I can be like, just send me makeup, please don't send me perfume, because most of the time they do. Although last month is actually I made a big deal about the fact that it's always a perfume sample and then there wasn't one. <laughs> However, it's not the case for February 2018. So funny enough, I'm not home to open my own box, so my husband is opening it for me and we're doing this on FaceTime and we're taking pictures because I'm laughing at him basically the entire time because he watched my previous videos and he was trying to do it like he was a beauty channel, which I thought was hilarious. Um, unfortunately, he did not record it, though I had asked him if he was going to. Um, he said it was just for me, really. He was too embarrassed to do it on camera for other people, but trust me, it was, it was truly lovely. Uh, the positive thing about this month's box is I either have tried or I have almost every item in the box already. So five out of the six items, I did already know whether I would like those items or not. So let's talk about that. So the first item in my box was this. And that is from Lancome, that is the Monsieur Big Mascara. I actually do have a sample of that with me here in Florida and I have been trying it out. I think it's an okay mascara. Uh, so far, the heat here has sort of, uh, it seems to be doing okay in the heat here, but it's not so good for my stage stuff, so I still need to wear it out for like a regular day. Um, but I think it's a perfectly nice mascara. But, uh, you know, that was sort of like, oh, I have that one. All right, so I guess I'll probably give the one that I've received in this play box to a friend. Next up, I got this. And that is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade Always Red. Now, I do really like Sephora Cream Lip Stains. I think they're very good. It's a good formula. They smell really nice. They're like fruity. And uh, they're just a good product. They're not my favorite liquid lipstick. But they're definitely in like the top five. And that is a shade I don't have. So I'm not upset to have received this, but I do already have that product. I know how it works. So I'm glad it, it's a good product for me. And you know, it's never a bad thing to have another red, uh, but I do know how that performs already. It's not a surprise. And the next thing I received is this. And this is the Sephora Collection Rouge Matte Lipstick. This is in the shade Rebel Chic. To be honest, uh, I already have an idea of how this kind of lipstick works as well. I know that it's actually a good lipstick, so I'm not upset about it. And actually, that's a pretty good color for me. It's a really nice deep berry. It looks really pretty. Uh, Joe swatched it on his hand for me so I could see it. Um, I'm not upset about it. But again, I already know what that product is like. I don't need a sample of it to tell me whether it's good or not. I already know that it's good. So, I mean, good, yes, but mm. And so the single item that I had never tried before was this. And this is from First Aid Beauty. This is a ginger and turmeric vitamin C jelly mask. So this actually looks kind of interesting. Uh, my husband said he was gonna try to use it himself, but he hasn't yet, unfortunately. Um, he's kind of bad about that, following through on remembering to use my beauty supplies. Uh, but that's okay. Um, that one I'm not going to be able to test out until I get home, but I will try to test it out before I open up my March box. I'll be able to talk about it and I'll show you guys all the products um, from February when we actually get to March because uh, I'll actually be in the same state with them, so I'll be able to do that. Uh, so I'm hoping though that he'll get a chance to use it out and I will definitely use it at some point. It looks like a nice mask and it looks like a pretty big size of it too, so you know, if I liked it, hey, maybe I'll want to get it more. Next up is my inevitable perfume sample. 
and we got Victor and Raw Flower Bomb. So previously I think I had two other samples of Victor and Raw Flower Bomb. Um, it's not a perfume I dislike, but it's just not a perfume for me. However, I will report that my husband apparently took to that one very much because he thought it was funny that I always talked about the perfume samples. So he's actually been using the Flower Bomb at work to see if anybody would notice. Let's just say it's been a week and a half and he's been wearing this perfume and nobody has noticed yet. So he's a little disappointed in that, but he likes the smell of it. So, um, hey, whatever works for him. Uh, it's, again, it's not a bad perfume. It's just not one I'm ever going to get around to using. It's just not my favorite. Uh, so I'm hoping that he'll get plenty of use out of that sample and I'll let you know how that goes. And the last thing I received was this. And this is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. So I had previously used this before and this does not actually go too well for me personally. It makes my eyes itch a little bit. Um, it's just not my favorite eye cream. So my husband has been using the previous one that I gave him and uh, he'll get to use this one as well because I also will not be using it on my own particular face. And so that was what my play box was. Now I will say it was pretty funny watching him open the play box, but I was kind of disappointed I didn't get anything cool to try out. But I guess in the grand scheme of things, I wasn't going to get to play with it anyway for at least another month because I'm still down here for another month. So I, I guess Sephora, you know, picked a good box for this sort of thing. So I actually was able to talk about everything in the box. I can tell you whether I like it or not. And I don't have to necessarily test it out because I basically have already. So that's okay. So I have higher hopes that, you know, in the March box it will be much more exciting. I saw that there were some other options for the February box. I think some people got like a NARS uh, lip crayon, which I'm glad I didn't get that, although I thought the color was really good. It's not that I don't like those NARS lip crayons, but um, I find that I lose them in my purse a lot and the lid would pop off, so they were not my favorite to carry around, but they are a nice product. Uh, so I think some people got more interesting options, whereas I just got two Sephora lips, and you know, that's okay, but... Eh, I don't know. Sometimes I sort of feel like I, I got left out of like the cool stuff. I got I didn't get the cool box this month. So with the Sephora Play Box for ten bucks, uh, worst case scenario is I just have a bunch of stuff to send to my mom and my cousins, and I'm sure they're fine with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have a suggestion for a video you'd like to see me do, please leave that in the comments below. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!